Hi guys, this is Sarif from Dwadwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to set any YouTube video as a boot animation on your Android phone. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, this video is only applicable on those phones which have their boot animation in either the system product media di di directory or the system media directory. So if your phone also has a boot animation file, the zip file in either of the two directory well and good or else this tweak might not work if you want you may try it out but chances are it might not work and your phone might go to a boot loop then you have to rectify the boot loop as well which might take some time although i made a guide and a video on the same as well but it's better not to try out if you want to be on a safer side so anyways as you could see currently i'm using a file manager app if i go to the root directory and then either let's go to the system product media or the system media directory first off let's access the system product media and as you could see i have the boot animation on my phone this is the stock boot animation so if your phone has the boot animation in either of the two directories system product media or the system media then this tweak will work or else this might not work with that said you will also have to take a backup of the existing boot animation because if you want to go back to the stock boot animation anytime in the near future then you may easily do so so you could simply Rename, rename the boot animation file and add the dot bak at the end and tap on ok and the file will be changed to boot animation dot zip dot bak and as and when the need arise you may again do a rename and remove the dot bak from the end and then you will get back the official boot animation zip file which was your main file in the stock file but as of now let's proceed ahead with the next step so i am again repeating please take a backup for backup you may either do a copy of the files from here and then paste the file in any other location or simply do a rename and add the dot bak at the end anyone will do so with that in mind please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started first of you have to obtain root on your phone via magic kernel su or a patch for now i'm using the kernel su app to get this job done you may do so on a, by either of these three apps so this is the kernel su and i am running root in the lkm mode you could use both the lkm and gki mode in case of kernel su then you will now have to install the Termux app onto your phone. I already have this app installed. Let me install it once again because I want to start from scratch. So just give me a second and the app should be somewhat here. Internal storage. So I'm installing the app from a third party side. I am not using from Play Store because in case of Play Store, the app has not been updated for, for way too long. So I installed the app from f -Droid. And the on F Droid the app is the latest variant and now we are inside the app. Now your first course of action is to give the app the special app access. So for that what you have to do is go to the settings menu. This is extremely important. Please don't miss this step. So go to settings app, special app access, all file access, Termux and enable the toggle next to allow access to manage all files. Now go back and make sure that it's set to allowed. Once that is done, you will now have to simply copy paste this command. So these were three different commands. I have added all the three commands into one single command via the AND AND perimeter. So the first command will give the storage access to the Termux, which we have also done manually just to be on safer side. Then it will install a Python tool, which is the open SSL tool. And the third command will install the YouTube module, which will help us to download the video from YouTube. So I have added all the three commands in one single command. So you must simply do a copy paste. So the easiest approach is to open my guide on your phone and let's now simply copy paste all of these three commands at one go copy it and paste it in termux but before that you will have to give the app the su access or the super user access so type in su hit enter if you're getting this prompt, then it means that the termux app is not given the su request so in case of magic, you will not get a SU prompt, just tap on grant. But in case of a patch and kernel SU, you will not get any prompt whatsoever. So you will have to manually get this job done. So launch either the a patch or the kernel SU if you have that and then refresh it once. Then go to the super user tab and from Termux enable the toggle next to super user. And the app has now been given the request. Let me verify it once. Type in SU and we are now inside the super user request. Once that is done, we could now install the packages. So in the first window, simply give it the super user request and now the app has been given the request. 
long press on it and tap on new session and now we must start off from scratch so simply now paste the command which we have copied all the three commands hit enter and it will now install all the packages and this might take a little bit longer around a couple of minutes depending on the size of the package and the network download speed so in the meantime just to recap first off we obtain root then we install termux and gave it the su access the super user access and after that we are executing three commands these are the three commands we also manually gave the storage access to the termux app although you could do the same via the termux setup storage co command as well but we did that manually just to be on safer side and now we are installing the two packages onto our phone and the packages installation will now take place in a few seconds as you could see they are being installed so let's give it a few more seconds and after that we will then move ahead with the next step which will take a few seconds so in the meantime one important note to keep in mind is that you should only use a youtube video of if it's your own or if you have obtained the permission from the video owner please do not use any other youtube video only use your own video or a video from which you have given obtain permission beforehand then that's well and good and do not use any other video or if you, you don't have your own video and you haven't got the permission as well then you could also use a local video that is there on your phone as well that is also an option so if you don't want the youtube video you may simply use your own video that you have on your phone as well you could choose any one of that in my case i'm using one of my video so with that said you could see the packages have been installed onto my phone so let's move ahead with the next step so now you will have to copy paste a couple of more commands so again open my guide which is here this is one entire command i have added all the commands into one single command to save some time again copy it and paste it here and now we are pasting the script hit enter and the boot animation module is now launched it will ask you a few questions first of all it will install a few modules and once the module has been installed you will then be asked a few questions and you will have to reply accordingly for example the video shows the resolution of the video the config of the video whether you want audio or not the boot animation behavior the background color and the path to save the module you will ask all these questions so i will show you all of them step by step but first it's currently downloading the module the video to boot animation module from this website so this is the first command and after that the second command is to give it the required access for the module to be made and the storage access as well so let's wait for a few seconds for the module to be downloaded and installed onto our phone and then we will move ahead with the next step so guys now comes the q and a session so first off you have to choose the video source either the youtube video or your local video so please keep in mind that you can only use a youtube video if it's your own or if you have taken the permission from the video owner if you don't have any permission and you don't have any your own video on youtube then please do not use any other video instead you could then go ahead with the local video option for now i am using a youtube video of my own so i will type in one and hit enter it will now ask you for a video link so it's recommended to use a shorter video because the more heavy the video is the longer your phone will take to boot up so let me see a short video if i have or not i usually don't make any shots but let's me for the sake of reference i am simply using this shorts let's say it does not have any audio but that's not a cause of concern i'm just using it for the sake of reference so simply copy the url of the video if you are using the youtube video and paste the url over here once that is done hit enter and it will now fetch the available resolutions for the video which will take a few seconds so now you have to input the code for the resolution as you could see the code is, is the first column so i will use the largest resolution for my video which correspond to the code 623 so let's input that and hit enter and it will now extract the video from the url and all the other files this might take a few seconds so let's just wait for that to happen and now you will have to choose the config for the boot animation so i'm using the default resolution and the fps frames per second if you want you may type in your own as well but let's keep the custom one just to be on the safer side and then enter your choice so it's using the property this and the fps is 54 which is quite well and good 
do you want to include audio so in my case there is no audio in the video so i will type n if you want to include audio then you may type in y but i have seen a few cases wherein audio leads to a few issues so if, if possible please do not use the audio because it might lead to a few issues in my case there is no audio in the video so i'm using n so audio will not be included now comes the important part the boot animation behavior so the boot animation should stop as soon as the device completes boot up then next up is the boot animation should play its full length no matter what so even if the device boot up is done in 10 seconds but your boot animation video is for 30 seconds then the boot animation video will go on till 30 seconds and only then your phone will boot up this does not make much sense to me the third is keep looping the animation until the device boots up so for instance your device takes to boot around 10 seconds but the video is just a gif for 5 seconds then it will continue to play in the loop until the phone turns on so in this case it will play for around a couple of times so in my case i'm using the first option which makes the maximum sense that the boot animation should stop as soon as the boot up is complete so hit enter and background color if you are not sure then you will leave empty or then you will have to enter the hex code so in my case i don't want any background color i'm just tapping on enter key and path to save the magis module so let's save it in the sd card which is the internal storage of my phone so let's type in sla slash sd card hit enter and the module will now be made and this process will take up some time depending on the video which you have chosen and if you have chosen an, an audio as well with the video then that will take even more time as of now i'm using a short video so it should take around i guess 5 to 10 minutes for it to process so let's just wait for that to happen so guys the module has been made and placed at the sd card as you could see over here so now you will get the process complete message and once that is done let's now access the module so it's in the sd card over here let me refresh it once and the created magic module is there for the size 145 mb i have used a small short video with no audio and that is why it's a small 145 mb if you use a larger video with audio then it might even go into gb which is not recommended so this is the module which we have got and now you have to just flash the module for that you could either use the kernel su a patch or magisk all of the steps are same for all of these as of now i will be using the kernel su so go to the module section and you will see that the boot animation creator script should be there but it should be gray out initially so in that case you will first have to do a reboot in some cases it will be gray out in my case it's already enabled but if the this module is currently gray out in your case then you will have to do a reboot this is extremely important so that make sure that is no longer gray out so after a reboot you may now go to the install option and choose the module which is this module and the kernel su will now flash the module and will take up to around i guess 8 to, to 10 seconds generally but depending on the size it might be a little bit longer in my case it's 150 mb so let's wait for the time frame so guys the module is now flashed let's first have a look whether the module is placed in the product media directory or not give me a few seconds so let me open the app and the root directory is here just a second this is the root directory and i have to go to the system directory and from system it's the product and then we have the media so as you could see the boot animation.zip it has a new size of 145 mb it's the same size which we have flashed the module so the module is now replaced the dark one is still there but that's not a cause of concern the boot animation.zip is now installed onto my phone since i have not replaced the dark theme so the dark one will still be the default one only the light one will be changed if you want you may also do one thing make a copy of this the new one and rename it to boot animation dash dark dot zip and then you will have changed for both the light and the dark theme as of now i have kept the dark theme as the stock one whereas the light one will be the new one so let me first change the theme from here from dark to light so that you could see the new animation and now that we are in the light mode the new animation will now be visible just hit the reboot button in the kernel su and hopefully the module will now be active and we should now get the new boot animation onto our phone this new boot animation will appear after the boot logo and the welcome screen so this is the welcome screen which is same for all the android phones if you have unlocked the boot order after that you will get the boot logo and after the boot logo will 
अभी कहते न्यू बूट एनिमेशन तो दिस इज अट लोगो एंड नाउ लेट सी वेदर द न्यू बूट एनिमेशन कम्स इन टू द प्ले और नॉट वेल दिस इज रेदर स्ट्रेंज बिकॉज वी आर स्टिल गेटिंग द ओल्ड बूट एनिमेशन एंड नॉट द न्यू वन आई डोंट नो वाई दैट इज द केस सो आई सपोज इधर देर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग विद द मॉड्यूल और समथिंग रॉन्ग विद द पिक्सल आई हैव टू वेरीफाइड वंस सो आई हैव अ कपल ऑफ मोर फोन लाइंग अराउंड लेट मी फर्स्ट वेरीफाइड ऑन माई वन प्लस फोन बट आई गेस्ट दिस मॉड्यूल विल नॉट वर्क ऑन वन प्लस बिकॉज इन वन प्लस द लोकेशन ऑफ द बूट एनिमेशन इज समॉट डिफरेंट लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली वेरीफाइड वन यूजिंग द फाइव मजर ऐप सो इट्स इन द माई प्रोडक्ट लोकेशन एंड इफ आई यूज द माई प्रोडक्ट एज कुड सी अंड द माई प्रोडक्ट मीडिया द बूट एनिमेशन इज प्रेजेंट डेयर सो दिस मीन्स दैट द मॉड्यूल विल नॉट वर्क बिकॉज आई हैव टोल्ड यू अर्लियर एज वेल दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द सिस्टम प्रोडक्ट मीडिया और द सिस्टम मीडिया दिस बूट एनिमेशन मॉड्यूल विल नॉट वर्क एंड इन केस ऑफ वन प्लस इट्स देयर इन दी माई प्रोडक्ट फोल्डर सो चांसेस आर दैट दिस मॉड्यूल विल नॉट वर्क इवन इफ आई ट्राई टू फ्लैश इट जस्ट गिव मी अ सेकेंड लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द रिजल्ट फ्लैशिंग एड एंड ओके एज यू कुड सी बूट एनिमेशन में नॉट वर्क so this is why the boot animation will not work because the location is my product and not the system product so let's skip this apart from that i have one more phone which is the poco f5 so let me see whether this module works here or not in case of poco i am sure that the location is the system media so there is no need to verify it the once i simply have to transfer the file onto my phone which i have done just now to save some time i have transferred the file so let's now check out the result so here i have flashed i have obtain root via the magisk app and not kernel su so let's launch the magisk app go to modules install from storage and let me now choose the module which is this one tap on okay and the module will now be flash onto our phone in a few seconds so let's just wait as you could see this is the product media so product media is the supported one the system product media or the product media are one on and the same thing by system we mean the root directory so the product media should work so let's have a look at the result tap on reboot and now we should get the boot animation or not we will now have a look now so this tweak did not work on a on the pixel phone let me see if it works on our xiaomi phones or not so let's wait for a few more seconds and the boot animation usually comes after the poco logo only so let's see what happens this time around give it a few more seconds and then we will have a look at the results so as you could see we are now getting the boot animation so finally we have made it to work so this was the video which i had used earlier as well let me show you once so this was the video shorts which i had used in my case just give me a second to add win and from here let's go to my channel and use the shorts and in fact this was the video which i had used i had copied the link and the same is now visible in the boot animation as well which i had shown you just now so guys just to round off once again while i am not aware of the reason but this module did not work on the pixel phone so if you are using a pixel phone there are high chances that this module might not work even though you could try it out but as you could see it's not working apart from that it's working well and good on xiaomi phones i am using a poco f5 so there is no issue whatsoever in in that phone as you could see the boot animation will not show up the youtube video will not show up as the boot animation and as you could see this is a boot animation the new boot animation in my case so guys on that note i round up this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching